Being hot and cold, leo wana win, kesha wa win, leo wana pigwa, kesha wa pigwi. So I hope they, con they continue to, to win their, uh, their coming games. Again, they're playing uh, the next game again is Manchester United. Na sisi tumepigwa sana, tunenda kuwamuka na Chelsea. Anyway, I have a very beautiful girl here. Uh, I don't know which team she's, uh, uh, she's uh, supporting. I think we'll go straight to her and so that she can introduce herself and tell us who she is. Hello everybody, my name is Kairi Tukene, but you can call me Double K. I'm a diehard fan of Manchester City, of hey. course, the defending <laughs> champions, the treble winners, and the upcoming champions this season, we hope so. Yes, I, and I'm happy to be here. Uh, uh, I just, uh, just tell us, uh, before I ask you a question, are you a student or uh, what, are you, what do you do? Yes, I'm a student, uh, a journalism student at the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. Okay, thank yeah. you so much for joining us. You know, there's a, before you, you, you give us your team of the week, you know, most of the uh, Manchester City fans, when you fans when you were joined maybe two years back or three years back, when did you start supporting football? Uh, I can say for Manchester City, I've been a fan for close to seven years now, and I'm happy about it. Yes, uh, Manchester City, we can say, is a club that is upcoming quite well, and it, it getting fans, uh, uh, if you compare from recent years, you can see at least there's some improvement. Yes, Manchester City is a big team, and so far it has proved itself, and it's quite unfortunate that some people still don't believe Manchester City. They're here to stay. <laughs> I just want you to be honest. Before supporting Manchester City, which team were you supporting? Because all fan of, any fan of Manchester City had a team that he was supporting. Well, I'm here for a surprise for you because before I joined Manchester City, uh -huh. I didn't support any You were just team. watching football. That is, yeah. That was my <laughs> number one team. I chose uh -huh. it from the word go uh -huh. and I'm dying with it till now. Uh, okay, now you can you can give us your team of the week. Thank you so much for telling us that Ulianza coach ball before you put a team, you can put a Man City. So, Karibu San. <laughs> I believe everyone did that from the word go. Then yes. you decided which team to follow yeah, first. Yes. yes, and according to this week, uh, according to me, I feel that my goalkeeper of the week is Jordan Pickford from Everton. We can see he did an amazing job against Nottingham Forest, okay. having saved a very good goal. Mm -hmm. Then uh, on my far end, on my left, I would uh, put Kyrian Trippier. Mm -hmm. We all saw what he did against Manchester United, okay. and we, we saw even if he didn't score the, the free kick, <laughs> it was an amazing one. You should, you should be very uh, careful talking about Manchester City, but Manchester United, you know I'm here with you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I know I can handle it because I know, uh, talking about Manchester United here, yeah, I will have to praise Maguire there because uh, I saw a sublime performance from him, mm -hmm. considering that he stopped uh, many goals uh, when you look at that game against Newcastle, we can see that Manchester City, Manchester United, sorry, were at their low level. So Maguire stepped up, and because of him, Tulikosa mm Kuona -hmm. possible 4 nil. I'm a 4 1. Okay. Yeah. And then I will have to add uh, Trent Alexander Arnold there from Liverpool. Uh, we saw what we di he did yesterday, uh, that game against Fulham. We had expected maybe uh, there was a bit more pressure from Fulham side, but we see Arnold performed well and he even scored. Can you tell us as you continue to do with formation, just just continue, just continue, as you do, tell us which formation you're using. Yeah. Uh, then uh, my formation is 4-3-3, I'll be using four defenders, mm -hmm. and here I have added uh, Kyle Walker from Walker. Manchester mm -hmm. City. Uh -huh. Yes, and here, is Enzo as well. We can see how well he performed yesterday against a 10-man Brighton. Mm -hmm. Yes, which I feel, according to me, Brighton would have done so much better, considering we know it, it's a good team. Okay. Uh, and even Chelsea got a red, so I feel that they should okay. have. Okay, um, as you, you continue saying, you can, um, uh, because of time, so. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Uh -huh. And then, of course, my mid, I will have to use Odegaard. Odegaard. We also, what and he did for I know Arsenal. Sina is very happy. Yes, <laughs> and <laughs> of course, as you know, that goal he scored, it was a superb, and I'm glad that it had been included in the team of the week. Mm -hmm. Then here, I will have to use this man from Burnley. Yes, he did uh, perform, he performed quite well. So I will be using him there, hoping that if he will interact well, I'm going to interchange the mid role with, with the Odegaard. Odegaard. Yes. Okay. And my attacking as I finish, mm -hmm. 
Definitely. <laughs> Saka. Saka. We can see this season things are quite working well for him. Saka. Uh -huh. Yes. So I would use him. And the far end, I would Gordon, use Gordon. Outstanding. Yes. And I'm glad he did uh, something very important to Manchester United. <laughs> at least <laughs> once, we have to admit that Newcastle outshined uh, yesterday. Watching. The Yes, and my man to finish the job definitely would be Watkins. We saw him equalizing the game against Bournemouth mm -hmm. with a superb header, How? so that's my team. Of the Why do you have uh, so much trust in Maguire knowing that he blocked a, a goal that uh, uh, the game would have ended 1-1 against Newcastle? Actually, talking about Maguire, apart from he's a good defender, I can see him attacking well. He actually had a shot that was blocked, so Maguire is a kind of a player who will defend for you and at the same time will help you attack. Okay. Yeah, so with Maguire, you see, he will pass. He has good passes with Gordon here and here with Ziki. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving us your team of the week. And uh, I know I will see you again. And uh, sure. thank you so much even for accepting to come to come here and uh, share with us this. Uh, as you can see, two players today, Saka and um, Saka and Sa Saka and who Odegaard are in the team of the week. And we have highlights for the Arsenal game that they played this weekend. I mean. Chelsea game that played this uh, this this weekend we can we can we can watch that the highlight there.